Hello there. Good to see you again and welcome to another Art Attack. Now then, are your pencils and art materials lying scattered all over the place? You know what you need? Somewhere special to keep them. How's about inside a paint tube? Nah, far too small. How's about inside a big paint tube? <laughs> too big. You know what you need? You need an Art Attack paint tube to keep all your art stuff in. Come and have a look at this. Take an empty washing up liquid bottle, take the squeezy top off and thoroughly wash it out. And when it's dry, cut the bottom of the bottle. Now these plastic bottles can be quite difficult to cut. And you know my motto, if it's difficult, get someone else to do it. Then cut the top two centimetres from this sloping neck. And the idea is to keep two centimetres of the body on. Cut all the way round apart from about two centimetres, so you've got a waggling hinge. Then squeeze the bottom of the bottle to get the shape of your paint tube and securely tape it into that position. Now, you can take a lot of time doing that. I don't get that much time on Art Attack, so I'm just doing it quickly to show you. Then take a sheet of newspaper, close the newspaper and place a ruler at the bottom and then just roll the ruler in side the newspaper like that and then take the ruler out and wrap that rolled piece of newspaper around the bottom of your tube overlap it there and where it overlaps again tape it thoroughly and securely into place I'll just put another one on there to show you again you put loads of tape on now to make the top of your paint tube take the lid of a plastic drinks bottle or a plastic milk bottle I'm going to take this one here, place that on the top there like that, and that will be the lid of your paint tube. And again, just tape that into place. Make it as neat as you can. Just pushing it on there like that and put the tape around the edges. And then to neaten the whole thing up and make it nice and secure, mix some PVA glue with a little bit of water. Now, you've seen this PVA glue before. It's the old school glue you get in the white squidgy bottles. In fact, I use this so often, people are starting to call this Art Attack glue. So just paste some of that onto that top there. And you know what I'm going to do. You've seen me do this before. A bit of papier mache. Put little bits of newspaper on there. And the idea is to just press the newspaper down into all those nooks and crannies. And again, you can take your time doing that. And do exactly the same with the tube itself. To neaten it up, slop on your glue and stick on bigger strips of newspaper to cover all those gaps and all those joins and it's very important that you put some bigger strips on and overlap them down inside your tube and just turn that around there to show you just overlap them about two centimeters inside the tube you don't want to go all the way down just about two centimeters and do that all around the tube cover the tube in the same way and when it's done you'll have something that looks like that. Look at that, and it's gone hard and strong and really finished it off. Now, to get the tube to stay closed when you close it, you need to make a cardboard collar. And the best way to do that is to draw around a ruler onto an empty cereal box. So you've got a strip of cereal box card, and then just place your paint tube down and paste some glue around those overlapped newspaper bits just inside the edge there that's why i overlapped the newspaper very important that and then just roll your strip of cereal box card and pop it inside like that and allow it to spring out into shape and then get your fingers in there and spring it out into shape so that it's a perfect fit and you could always just close it just to test that it's a good fit but make sure you open it to dry it out and when it's dry you could paint it now you could do any paint tube design you like you could copy a real paint tube or you could make your own one up but I find it's a good idea to paint it white to start with on the paint tube itself I'm just slopping that on there to show you and then you could always paint the metal bits a sort of grey or a grey silver and when you've done the whole thing again you take your time doing it poster paint or acrylic paint and when it's done it looks something 
like that. And see what I've done here? I've painted it white, I've painted the metal bits a grey silver, I've painted the lid black, and I've even put on a strip of red here to show what colour paint is inside my paint tube. And to design the label itself, I've copied a real paint tube, I've written on red, you can write on Art Attack or you can write on your own name, because after all, it is your paint tube, and all these other little bits and pieces and details I've just copied from a real paint tube. And then you just open it up and you pop in your paintbrushes and your pens and your other art materials. In it goes, all your art stuff, and then just close the lid and there it is, your own Art Attack paint tube. Try it yourself. Brilliant! Hello, Head here. Now, to make one of those, you just need a clean, dry, empty, one litre washing up liquid bottle. Then very carefully cut the bottom off and almost all around the top, leaving a couple of centimetres to make a hinge. Squeeze the bottom end together, tape it closed and then stick a bit of rolled up newspaper around it. Tape on a lid and then papier-mâché the outside with bits of newspaper and PVA mixed with a little water. Go down inside the bottle a bit. When it's dry, just stick in a card collar and paint it to look like a tube of paint. Then use your Art Attack paint tube to keep all your Art Attack materials in good shape.